All right, question number two. Um, back from uh, July again, this one comes from Bill Merritt. He says, so can we lose our salvation? That is, can we be cut off from the olive tree and grafted back in? Or are these different things, the olive tree versus salvation? Great question. Um, really great question. Really, that the can we lose our salvation? Here's what I would say. First John 5, 13 says, these things are written so that you may know that you have eternal life. And so God wants us to know that we have eternal life. So from a very outset discussion point, God wants us to know that we have salvation and we ought to know that we have salvation. Um, this is a really good point, really good discussion point and one that I would encourage us all to dwell on. Um, do we know that we're saved? This isn't a, a pride or an arrogant thing. In fact, it's quite the opposite. We know that we're saved based on Jesus's righteousness, based on his sacrifice on the cross, not based on anything that we do or don't do or anything like that. It's based on faith. Um, that's important because the people that struggle with whether they are saved or not, it's really based upon their works. That's what they're saying. I hope I've done enough that God will be pleased with me, that God will deem me uh, righteous enough to get into heaven. And the answer is, you won't. You won't do enough because you will always have sin. You will always have your rebellion. And unless you trust uh, and have faith and believe in what Jesus has done for us, what he says that he's doing in giving us his righteousness and taking away our sins, then we have no hope of salvation. Um, this is the difference between religion and the gospel. Every other religion says just that. Work hard and maybe God will have mercy on you. But that's not what Christianity says. That's not what Jesus says. What Jesus says is, I'm securing salvation for you. Do you trust in me? Do you trust that God is your rescuer? Or are you your rescuer? So from a, from a very outset, we go, um, can we lose our salvation? Um, God wants us to know that we're saved. And therefore, um, he's not tricking us. And we're not going to like know and then, and then be wrong, right? Um, now, you can think that you're saved based upon your own righteousness and be wrong, right? So this is where this gets a little, a little tough. And so what we need to understand, though, is that when he talks about these branches being broken off, if you go back and read that in, in, in Romans, he says they're broken off because of unbelief and they're grafted in based on belief. In fact, he uses the word abide, that's trust. That's, that's nuzzling up and cozying into the rescuing embrace of our Savior. That's what it is. That's what, it, that's what he's describing there. It's faith. And so we don't need to be sitting there going, man, I, I, hope, I, don't, I hope I bear enough fruit that God doesn't cut me off. That's not the point. In fact, he says, if you trust in him, what? You will bear fruit. It's him that does it. It's his power. Uh, it's the Holy Spirit that dwells inside of us that produces the, the fruit of the Spirit, right? And so when he talks about this olive tree, he is talking about salvation. So I, I don't think it, this is an olive tree versus salvation, these two different things. I think it is salvation. And he says that it's based on belief and unbelief. That's what indicates whether you're going to be a part of the vine or not. And so, um, and so we can look at that. And that's not a caution for Jesus where, uh, you know, in John 15, where he's saying, hey, heads up, um, you can just be cut off. Or Paul in Romans isn't saying, you better be on your best behavior or else God might cut you off. That's not the point. The point is abide, trust, believe, because that's the only way you can know that you're saved. So I hope that helps. Um, I'll ask, ask, answer one other kind of addendum to that. Um, can we lose our salvation? Like, can we be saved and then we, we, we lose it um, from God's perspective? Well, certainly not, right? God's omniscient, so he knows whether we're going to be with him in heaven or not, and he's not wrong. And therefore, from God's perspective, this is a moot point. There's no way we can lose our salvation, right, from his perspective. So cycling all the way back around, you may know people, you're like, man, I thought they were saved. Um, 
they were probably trusting in their own righteousness. They may have looked and smelt a lot like they were a Christian, um, but they were trusting in their own righteousness. Now, can they at some point trust in Jesus' righteousness and be saved and grafted in again? Absolutely. From God's perspective, does he know what their life is going to transpire and what age and what year when they actually are going to place their trust in him? Absolutely. All right. So I hope that helps. I know I went all the way around full circle a couple times on that one, but uh, can we lose our salvation? No. Is our salvation based on our works and efforts? It's not. It's based on Jesus. And therefore we know, we can know, 1 John 5, 13, that we have eternal life.